Two local fire departments are in mourning tonight after a young firefighter was killed in a motorcycle accident yesterday. 24 year old Garrett Green died in the crash that has happened along Central Avenue in Prince George's County. Hatzel Bella is in our newsroom tonight with how he's being remembered. Hatzel. Leon, we spent some time at Station 33 at the Kenlet Volunteer Fire Department. It's where Garrett Green got his start to what was supposed to be a long career in firefighting. At Station 33, Boxers, what may look like a normal day is not. 24-year-old Garrett Green, one of their own, is gone. He aspired to be a firefighter his whole life. With no experience, no training, Green showed up at the Kenlin Volunteer Fire Department. They say it's where he cut his teeth. He had the heart to want to do this, and it really drove him, and a uh, very positive person. On Thursday, Green was killed in a crash along Central Avenue in Prince George's County. Investigators say a car making a left turn crossed in front of Green's motorcycle, then flipped, landing on top of Green. Chief Anthony Kelleher was the one who had to tell Garrett's parents he was gone. Her reaction, I think, at first was uh, just denial, and I couldn't imagine having to go through that. Green had reached his goal, a full-time firefighter at Montgomery County for two years. Today in Aspen Hill, a black bunting drapes the doors at Station 25. Green's helmet was placed on the front of the engine he would have been on during his shift. Black tape covers the department's logo. Back in Landover, the flag is at half staff. Every picture he's smiling and he's doing what he loves to do and that was helping people. It's what his colleagues and friends will continue to do. But there's an emptiness. That smile they'll miss. As you heard, Green leaves behind his parents as well as a girlfriend and their 18-month-old baby girl. Reporting live in the newsroom, Hatzel Vella, ABC7 News. Thank you, Hatzel.